uh, is a little atypical compared to a lot of other El Mourinho because it's very ripe. Most of the El Mourinho you would see out there would be like an 11.5% alcohol type El Mourinho. This is a 13% alcohol El Mourinho, so it's pretty heavy duty for El Mourinho. Um, Jorge believes this grape should have ripeness. It shouldn't be harvested early and be really tinny and light. He said it should have richness and it should have ripeness. So these grapes are allowed to stay on the vines until right before the rains come in the autumn. They're also where they are, right in the jet streams, they get a lot of warmth. So you get a lot more ripeness and richness in this particular El Mourinho than you will from others. This is also the uh, muscle harvesting capital of the world. If you go, there's a great town there to visit called Vigo, which is a great party town right on the coast. Um, it's actually where Gavino Sotolino from Umbria, that's his hometown. And um, if you go there on Google Earth, you can start zooming in and you can see all these brown dots all over the water. It's hundreds of shellfish traps just all over the place. So you go here and eat steamed mussels, clams, squid, boiled octopus like this. Uh, once you've had this version, you won't ever eat it in the sushi restaurant again. Because they boil it so perfectly, um, it's it's not rubbery at all. It is mouth-watering. They put it with uh, unfiltered olive oil, sea salt, and paprika dust. And you just eat it with toothpicks. And it explodes with the flavor of the sea, and the texture is melt away. They're, in fact, the guys that did this for us uh, didn't even work in a restaurant. They All they do is cook octopus for parties. So they show up with a stock pot with like three of these things in there and pick it up and just start cutting it into these pieces. And it's so fresh and so tender that you haven't had it like that before. Yes? Can you talk about the notes in the Yes. Is, uh, do they actually put those fruits? No, no. It, that's a good question because a lot of people you see you see these descriptions and it certainly makes you think like they've added these things to the wine. Those come as a combination from the terroir where the wine actually is growing. It's from the soil. It's from the air. Um, certainly, man has their hand in it. You know, depending on how they harvest it. But those. Flavors are what the grape expresses from its surroundings. It's coming through the soil. It's coming from the sea air. I mean, there's all these factors are what create those flavors. Now, those are the primary fruit flavors. Then you'll have secondary flavors from aging in oak and all those other types of things that will be other flavors that are added on top of that. But uh, it, those type of primary fruit flavors are just the way this grape expresses itself from that 